I grew up in California, but uh, I had a fantastic interest in England that was came through my childhood, really, of uh, reading Mary Poppins and Wind in the Willows and things like that. And so uh, I was um, basically trying to settle into England uh, as a painter. And then uh, I got this kind of incredible curiosity about textiles because I was using these pieces of fabric that I would find in Portobello Market. And I found that I was much more excited about making textiles than I was about um, actually sitting down and trying to be a painter. So eventually I picked up a needle and I started doing my own design. The way I design is just to find a good source material, a great flower or a shell or a fish or some subject matter, and then just draw it very, very roughly onto the canvas and then just start to stitch, working from the actual source material. So it's, it's a very um, organic kind of process where I'm, I'm all the color and the complications of color and everything are just worked out as I'm actually stitching. Then I don't plan anything out or put anything on graph paper or anything like that. You're making a palette of color for people, but you're also uh, giving them different textures and different ideas, you know. Sometimes it's very abstract what's in those designs and sometimes it's quite figurative. It's a lot more interesting than painting. Um, you know, when I, I have to work very hard to create the same excitement in paint as one gets very quickly and easily with needlepoint. The uh, actual action of making a piece of knitting or uh, a needlepoint um, is deeply soothing and uh, healing. Once I start, uh, I feel at peace. You know, put the radio on, have a nice play in the background or a poetry reading or something. And I just sit there and I listen and I make something. And it's like a physical meditation. There's just something magic about letting wool go through canvas. And the hardest thing is to put it down and to stop. I know people that go deep into the night, you know, uh, stitching on projects, and I completely sympathize with that. When I travel, I always try to have a knitting project or a needlepoint um, bag of yarn and possibilities to be working on as I'm winging my way over the world. I've made mosaics and uh, I've done rag rugs, I've done designs for huge tapestries, but all of it is the same to me. It's all starting with color and the vehicles for color, which is pattern, you know, how do you organize this color to make it the most juicy, the most subtle, the most beautiful, etc. Um, and so, you know, if I'm making a mosaic or designing a needlepoint slipper, it's all the same to me. I think that people have a much more poetic soul for color than they think at first. And I give people license, I think. Um, I say, you know, come on, read the riot act and express yourself, express that inner person, which might be lemon yellow and bright pink, you know. Uh, let it come out, and, and I'm, I'm, I think I'm very encouraging to people to have a go and to, to experience color.